Hello and welcome to episode 17 of our Timberborn Alpha 2 Let's Play. We have quite a large amount of water stored up over here in our new little reservoir area. And last episode we also finished the first part of our golem construction. And we're going to wait on our little golem factory to get to work. But you know there's no, uh, no workers here so we're going to have to shift things around a little bit. And there's a couple other things that we can take a look at doing in today's episode, specifically enhancing these districts and getting a whole lot more trees going because this district is woefully underprepared when it comes to trees and logs and all of that fun stuff. So that's going to be something we've got to fix. Meanwhile, this entire mountainside of potatoes is doing just fine. And there's 3,707 grilled potatoes. Okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta figure something else out for the rest of these uh, areas over here. But the rest of the map is looking pretty good, all things considered. I think uh, stuff is going pretty well. We are gonna go ahead and very quickly refill this entire area here. You'll notice we do have this double floodgate we've recently installed that will prevent this area from flooding. So we can more or less keep this whole area down about the level it is right now, and we can have all 12 of these things pumping. Yeah. We've got a little bit more work to do here. I am going to lower this just a little bit so we can get a little more water in here. Go ahead and turn on our turbo speed. We just want to get this up high enough to where stuff is not... Uh, not flooded, but still useful. So why are these people complaining? Okay, they have plenty of water, I know. There's no food. Why is there no food? How is there no food? We have so much food. Man, you just never know what you're going to get when you fire up one of my videos, huh? Why does nobody have any food? This district has food. <laughs> Yeesh, okay. We are going to, oh, we're already sending, we're already sending grilled potatoes. Hmm. Okay, so then why does nobody have any potatoes? There's, there's really no reason that there should be absolutely no potatoes in here. In fact, that's pretty concerning that there's no potatoes because... We have, uh, we have bakeries. We have stuff that's supposed to be, uh, taking care of stuff. We have paper mills. I think we have, yeah, we have, we have grist mills operating. Operating. I guess we probably just need more haulers to get stuff moved around. Well, that's supposed to be something that the golems will take care of, so we will have to, uh, wait and see how that's going to, uh, that's going to work over here. All right, I'm going to put these back up to 2.5 where they belong. Well, the, the water is all, all sorts of discombobulated over here. I guess this area still hasn't completely filled all the way back up, but this is looking very good. Looks like everything is perfectly fine. Someone commented a couple of, uh, couple of episodes ago about... Can you please explode all this dynamite? Um, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to let them put all this down yet because it's a lot and we really don't need that to be... We really don't need that to be any sort of uh, blown up yet because we have some other stuff we probably should be focusing on first. Like uh, getting more trees and food in this district. So we're really going to need to expand the area that we are, uh, we are cultivating for the purpose of farming, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to worry about that right yet, but we will probably get that fixed. Uh, I am, however, concerned about this big area up here and how super useful it would be to have this flat or mostly flat for farming and just make a ton of food. So I think that could be an eventual goal. Uh, this district is very near its limits, I think, as far as uh, getting stuff to different places. 
So I think what we will do instead of worrying about anything else right now is we will go ahead and get this area. All set up for demolition, flatten this out a little bit, and start working our way over here and probably put a, a district center somewhere in the neighborhood of right here. As long as I can get something up to it, we're going to have to wait and see how that goes. But for the time being, we do have our Golem Assembler. We're going to require people to work here. Well, not require. We're going to incentivize them to work here by placing it a higher priority. And we're going to very slowly start assembling some Golems because I really want to see what ends up happening when those are all done. So... Our food situation is just so weird. You would think... I guess we need to prioritize gathering for all of these, probably. You would think that, we, since we have all this planted here, it really wouldn't be... really wouldn't be that much of an issue, but... It seems like it's going to remain that much of an issue. Don't really, uh... Don't really understand why. No available workers. Okay, so how many workers do we just not have? We have we have 31 job vacancies. Okay. Um sure. Let's uh just go ahead and send over 31 beavers. Why? Because we can. <laughs> and I think we still have Oh. We don't have enough space for them. Well, that is certainly awkward. I guess we're going to have to put in some more, some more of these guys right here. I guess we'll just go, we'll just go with a classic thing like that. Because we need some more population that will get us another 27 spots. Man, this sure is ugly. This piece of garbage I, I built right here. Man. Now how can I get away with this not being completely stupid, huh? Completely convoluted and weird. Okay, they're actually about to make... They're about to make a golem. Let's watch this. They need three more golem limbs. Okay, this one is making chassis limbs, hands, yeah. So I, I don't know what to do with these. I've never played with golems before. I'm probably going to end up saying the word golem like eight different times, eight different ways, rather. And I'm sure that's going to irritate some of you, but that's fine. Man, I was hoping this would uh, be a little faster. We'll have to check in. Check in later on that, I suppose. Uh, we haven't done any catalysts yet. I don't really... It's not telling me too much. Reinforced fat for storing catalyst, a potent biofuel reagent. So is that like a uh, an enhancement for regular fuel? Oh. It was a music major and then a journalism major, not a scientist. So that's uh, that's not my wheelhouse. We, <laughs> we're we're going to go try something else. So we have 18 free beds because we migrated a bunch of beavers over here. Wow, this was very quickly built. I was just trying to think. I think what we want to do, I think I can get away with, uh, get away with this. Move this up one level, and then we're gonna we're gonna just try this real quick. And by real quick, I mean we're going to severely and irreparably damage the uh, walking flow of this entire section of the map for a brief period of time for literally no reason, except for uh, making something look slightly better that we are uh, not gonna see. But that's uh, that's what we signed on for when we uh, started this uh, whole series. So 
What can I say? Man, this is going to bug the crap out of me if this looks like this. I, hmm, man, I really should have thought about this before I, uh, before I did something this dumb. Because I'm going to have to look at that this whole time. It's going to just be really ugly. Ugh. Gross. Well, not everybody can have great ideas all the time. That's, uh, that's what we'll say to that. But I think I can get away with putting that in there. And then... I think, depending on where the, uh, thing is placed, I guess I have to do... I have to do this way. Because that's the only way that's going to line up for that. I could probably tell you what we'll do. We're going to break it more. And we're going to be doing the uh, the dumb thing again here. We're going to keep this completely level. Except for this one right here. And then we will do this. And then put our stairs here. And the reason we're doing that is so I can put more things up this way. So I think if I've done this correctly, I should be able to get in. Might have to rotate here. I can put one here, one here. I wanted I wanted this to be like this. But I yeah. Alright, we'll we'll just we'll just do this. Whatever, it's not the end of the world. Could be worse. We just need them to uh get this whole thing done here. They'll get it figured out. We'll be in good shape. Have they built a golem yet? No, but oh ho, oh, we can see him. Look at his little uh, weird kind of robot looking self. Looks like a barrel version of the uh, combination of the squirrel from Ice Age and uh, Luffy from One Piece. Kind of. Real thin limbs and the, the big dumb looking eyes. And the hat. Oh, kind of cool. Okay, so he's all done. Where is... Where is my golem? Where did he go? How do I... How do I even do anything with this? Oh. I can unlock... I can unlock workplaces for golems. For 10,000 science. Okay, we are turning the... Uh, we are turning the research huts back on. The, in <laughs> the inventors. We're turning those back on immediately. Oh, this is a game changer. Okay, I had no idea. That's what that did. Incredible. Oh, this is fantastic. Where am I? Where's my golem? Where is he? I need him. What happened to my boy? I need you to show me this golem immediately. Oh, this is choice. But where is the golem? How do I find the golem? Because he's supposed to be somewhere over here. I mean, we made him right here. He can't have gone too far. Do I have the ability to... Okay, here we go. Golems. Unemployed golems. Where is he? Where is my golem? I don't want that. Go all the way down here? No? Wood workshop. Water pump. Tapper shack? No. I want... Mine mountain. Workplaces. No, population. Okay. Okay, there is my golem. Okay. 
Okay, now how do I find this guy? I guess, uh... Can I just not unpause the game in this view? Okay, durability 100%. Oh, Catalyst is a boost. Okay. You'll have to forgive me. I am literally learning all this for the first time right now as I'm recording myself playing the game. So, you know how that goes. So, he has no job. I have to hire him to do a specific job. I have to hire him to do a specific job, but I have to unlock the job to be done by golems in the first place. Uh, okay, we got a builder's hut. Okay, haulers aren't even unlocked for golems. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do is we will unlock that for... Okay, yeah, there we go. We'll unlock hauling posts for golems, and we'll keep... We'll keep producing them golem limbs. Which one is making limbs? Heads, limbs. Okay, so... Wait, is this... This is a different color because there's golems in there? Like, the lights are all blue instead of this nice friendly I don't know 2700 degrees Kelvin orange oh, don't have logs okay well we need logs and there should be this shouldn't be dry here oh there's not enough water in here okay we gotta fix that we'll get that water filled right back up that is a game changer to have Oh, this is so cool. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. He's just working. He's doing his best. I love him already. Cool. We are cooking with gas, as the kids say. Alright. Close that back up again. Yeah, now this isn't, uh, isn't all dead. So that is a fantastic revelation that we can have. Man. Oh, this game is so cool. So we're waiting on gears and planks. We really need to get, we really need to get more, uh, more wood here. Now, how far away from this district can I? I wonder. I think it's probably, probably going to be a smart idea to figure out what kind of radius this uh, water uh, water dropper thing has. I guess we can just. Uh, Pop one right here and see. So what I want to do is I want to put a hole here, put a water dump here, and then start farming some more trees. Trees up here. Because we really need trees. And eventually I want to have another district up here in the corner, but we are quite away away from that. It is just so cool that we can have these robots go and uh, go and do all the work that we uh, don't want our regular beavers to do. Something about cautionary tales of not depending too much on technology, and this is a uh, you know a post-apocalyptic beaver survival game. Maybe there's something to be said about that, but this is a let's play channel and not a gaming philosophy channel so we're uh, we're not going to do uh, too much more with that All right, we got to get these trees out of here get rid of those uh, so once this gets put in I think most of this area will be suitable for growing trees we'll just have to put it in a forester alright like so and I think, yes, it's not connected by paths because we haven't connected it yet. Thank you. Very astute observation. All right. Now, don't tell me this is going to be out of... Are you joking? You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is like three tiles away. Oh, man. That is... That's really annoying. That is really annoying. <sighs> Hmm. And I can't... 
I cannot refill that. A terrain block, huh? I have to have a terraforming station, but I guess I can refill that. Okay, well, let's... Oh, man, this is... This is dumb. Okay, I have to put in... I guess it has to be right here to put another hole just so we can... Uh... Man, that is so stupid. Uh, okay, we'll get this put in. I wish I hadn't put that hole there. I should have checked the distance first. Okay, so I guess our golem friends, yeah, they're both working here. We are working. We are doing fantastically. So I think what we need to do now is build additional golem part factories. Because now I am very invested in this. Okay, we have a drought coming in three days. That's right, the game does still have droughts, even though they don't really seem to affect us. But a golem part factor... Okay, so we need to have four times as many limbs being constructed as we do everything else. So we'll make all three of these part factories. We'll make uh, limbs. And then we'll have... This right here. Take care of making limbs. And we'll make limbs here as well. And then finally, once this is done... Wow, this is being built rather quickly. Come on. There we go. Making some limbs. And once that is complete... Looking good, looking good. That should help us make our golems just a bit faster. All right, let's try this again and hope I did not make another mistake with this. I think, I think that should be okay. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and plant some maple trees. I think that should be should be the correct distance to get stuff uh, hydrated here. We'll find out. As soon as this is constructed, somebody was already coming to finish it. I just love the idea that we can have, uh, can have this whole area working by golems. That is so cool. I guess I should probably probably wait to see what the uh, radius of uh, water is going to be before I actually commit to planting any trees. Of course, I have to move this one too, which is annoying. All right, let's put him there. No available workers. All right, well, now this is a very important job. Now come work here. Drop your water off. I guess if I was really smart, I would have put a water tank up here that isn't super far away, so this guy doesn't have to uh, keep walking all over the place. Yeah, yeah, no workers in district, I know. All right. Okay, that goes a lot further than I thought it would. Good. We're going to henceforth plant a lot of trees in this entire area. This whole thing. These are going to take 800 eternities to uh, to grow, I understand. But that's, uh, that's just part of the deal. Actually, before these all get... Uh, all get planted. 
I think we should probably, you know, make some provisions for just a few beavers to actually cut trees down. And by just a few, I mean uh, seven. We'll go with that. That should be okay. Now we are... Man. I guess we gotta make all these higher priority. Yes, I could be using the uh, selection tool. I have chosen not to. And that's fine. Sometimes that's, uh, that's the way you gotta do things. Get this water back up a little bit. I am just... I am so excited about these golems. That is such a cool addition to the game. Really, really improves our quality of life once we have enough of them actually doing stuff. Man, I am just... I'm excited about this. That's going to be super fun. And then we can actually decrease the working time. And we can have our beavers relax a little more. And do some more extracurricular activities. We should have our, uh, our drought coming in just a few moments here. About half a day left, and we are in a beautiful position. We have plenty of food, plenty of water. And I think, well, we don't have plenty of food here. We have enough food. And it's going to keep getting better after everything gets uh, gets harvested and all that good stuff. I'm going to close this now. Put this all the way up, yeah. We just gotta make sure we get as much water saved in this whole area as possible. So this is pretty much always gonna automatically fill up. We just gotta keep this up. It's always a uh, always a problem to have this water level lowered down. Then it kind of kills everything over here. That's not so much fun. I probably should have done this before we had all this uh, all this drought business. But you know that involves thinking, and I uh, not always great at that. All right, so the drought started. I believe we have saved. Enough water up here to be okay. Seems to be uh, seems to be doing just fine. Okay, We're almost ready. Up top here to have this first level blasted off. Almost. I guess, do I have too much wheat and not enough potatoes? I'm not sure. Just, uh, curiosities abound over here. Is this whole area not completely planted? Why is that? Very strange. Okay. That seems to be doing okay. This is all done. Oh, I thought I was about to kill that beaver. Alright, good. He survived, so it's all good. As long as nobody died and you had a fun time, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. It's looking better. We'll get that down, and then we can plant some more trees. And get all of that taken care of. Should hopefully not be a huge issue. Now we have our hauling post hauled by beavers beaver bots barrel bots whatever you call them unable to get all required materials now we're waiting on heads okay why are we uh oh they're waiting on gears but we have gears all right i guess our haulers need to really uh really get going here huh oh i forgot we have this entire area all ready to go. 
<laughs> okay. All right, that seems to be working just fine. Uh, so someone informed me in the comments of a previous video that the aquatic plants will not grow if the water depth is greater than one block tall. So I regret to inform you that our little uh, area down here is going to be completely pointless aside from having uh, capacity for water storage, which is just a little disappointing, but, you know, could be worse. All right, now these are no longer pumping because it's too low. That is okay because we have plenty of water stored up. We will be in very good shape. We're continuing to go over here making, I think I'm making enough gears. 95, yeah. See, we're doing okay over here. We just have to, uh, just have to make sure we have a steady supply of stuff coming in. I guess we probably, probably could have some more of these gear factories. So maybe that's something we can look into doing here. I guess I can go ahead and put in another one of these little four ways here. We've got all these grist mills. They're not all operating because they don't have enough flour coming in, so I think we're okay. I guess I can go ahead and put in over here. Right, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Okay, that's not promising, but I will put in one, two, three, four, five, and then I think that's not the that's the Austria key for rotating. R is the key for rotating in Timberborn. Uh, put in these guys, and I think we need to have some lumber mills. Boy, I just wish there was an easier way to get these. Uh... Oh no, that'll still work. There we go. That will be functional. I guess we can go with something like this and still be okay. So we have plenty of uh, lumber mills, but we need more and we need more gears. So this should hopefully be beneficial. These are the uh, smelters. Yeah, we're doing fine on that. All right, yeah, now our, our beavers have kind of have somewhere to get the stuff done. As soon as these two, these two are done, we can connect this and finish building out all of these, uh, all these things. But the uh, placement of dynamite seems to be going at the speed of smell, which is uh, not ideal. I think this should allow us to get to all of these. Yeah, cool. All right, that's the biggest thing I was kind of worried about here. Am I gonna really have to? Uh, I think I might might have to uh, come up here and make another staircase. That is unfortunate. Boy, this is just a mess down here, isn't it? This guy still only planted so many. I'll tell you what. We're going to unlock this workplace for golems and put a barrel bot in there. Because he doesn't need to sleep. Prioritize maple trees. All right, barrel bot. Get to work, my dude. Oh, this is already so much better. Amazing. Amazing. This is the best invention ever.
truly, truly incredible. I uh, I will fully endorse and fund this in this game. Man, I should have done this forever ago. It's like genuinely, legitimately game changing. Very cool. How are we doing? Uh, how are we doing over here? Well, we sure have a lot of these guys bringing dynamite in, which is, you know, always welcome, always allowed. But they sure are going slow. We've more or less completely ignored this entire part of the map over here. Like, how's uh, how's stuff going in this uh, in this part of town? We've got food. We have water. We seem to be doing okay. They've got so much food. They don't have as much because we've been exporting, which is good. That's kind of the entire purpose behind doing most of this is make sure stuff is in a good position. Are all of our beavers dead in this one yet? No, but they are uh, they're reproducing, which is good news. Uh, we probably should have been no available workers. What are you people doing that's so much more important? Okay, yep, that's what. All right, we are going to migrate some beavers to District 9. Get them going. You might be saying hey, there's nowhere for them to sleep. You are absolutely correct. There is nowhere for these beavers to sleep. So we will be building somewhere. We'll be building some additional lodging for them. And now that I know the game doesn't care about... Oh, well, it's actually too deep to do that. Never mind. It's going to be a cool idea. We'll just put a little lodge there. A little lodge there. And we are going to get rid of all of these blueberry bushes because we don't need them. They're inferior. And we're going to plant. Plant. We're going to put in a forester. I guess this is probably the best place to put it. We're going to plant some trees. And I think this one will reach all the way out here. Yes, it will. And this will, I guess I could have, uh, oh no, I could still walk across this. We'll just put a uh, little pathway there. I, I, I seriously doubt that actually does anything. But uh, we will do it all the same. Now, where did I have these? Okay, so this is still covering a pretty decent, pretty decent swath of land. I guess we can start with that. Okay, we're going to make this only for golems. Actually, that's probably a mistake because we don't have a golem factory here. And that could cause some interesting problems when we get around to that part. Alright, I have this pathway here. I think one of the bigger obstacles to us actually being super productive is having adequate wood supply and since this is pretty much entirely just a logging district we need to make sure we have the uh well logs <laughs> being imported and exported here and we have so many logs so many logs put right here we really need more of them brought over to this district so i think we can actually Boy, and this is going to be a long trip. Well, we can actually do a... I'm going to try a direct delivery all the way over here to the mining district. And I think... I don't know exactly how far this will reach. I'm not sure I could actually connect these two paths and have them utilize them. But I'm not, I'm not sure. 
I kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try it and see. Because all it, really all it has to do is get to this next district. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to try this here real quick. We'll go ahead and just clear a more or less straight line path. Or try to at least. And I, I keep forgetting about planting dandelions, so we're definitely going to do that somewhere. Yeah, we'll do it on this side. Let's see uh, just how much we can get away with here. So I need to put in a gatherer flag as well. So really we need to put in a bunch more a bunch more housing for all these beavers in this district. All right, so we can come back behind here and put in for two more of these ugly little lodges. And that ought to help take care of just a little bit of our problem here. Okay, so we're doing fine with this. Yeah, look at our our fantastic little barrel bot number five. What a good job he's doing. Just continuously planting with no need for sleep. You love to see it. Oh, this actually has... Okay, how are you starving, my dude? There is food to be had. Oh, there's really not that much food. I hope this guy doesn't die. Okay, now he's gone. We are actually very low on water in here, so I guess we can... I guess that lets us know that in a drought, we're going to have to have a little bit more water stored up because they will absolutely run through it. But since we have... Drought ending in 0.7 days, and we do have some already uh, stored up up here. We can't get too much out, or it's going to dry stuff up a little bit. But we can get this just a little bit higher and make sure that that is all good to go. And they still haven't started uh, doing all this. Uh, oh, good. Good. These are up and running. We just need more workers. Yeah, we have 30 vacancies. We don't have any open beds. Man, this is a... Uh, this is a mess over here, isn't it? That is definitely not the uh, ideal scenario here. I think I can put in yeah, we're, we're just completely abandoning all pretense of having this look even remotely acceptable. Uh, sorry if... Sorry if that disappoints you. We just need more space for beavers. And we're not going to get away with it without putting in some... some other dudes here. Alright, can I put in... It's going to have to be double high to get the triple... I'm going to try to put in the double high one right here. And then put in... I know this is a Lovecraftian horror edition of beaver housing. <laughs> wow, what a, uh, what a brand new sentence that was. Man, this is probably one of the ugliest things I have ever designed in any game. It's truly, truly hideous. Man, I just, uh, I would like to apologize on behalf of all architects who actually know what they're doing and care about making nice looking buildings because this is 
a monstrosity. So we're just going to kind of ignore that for now and <laughs> come on back over here. Looks like this is going to be emptying out here anyway. We'll get this uh, get this working here. That's in... Wow, okay. There's actually a lot that wasn't stored up here. I don't need to worry about filling this up. It will always fill up itself because of our little uh, spillways here. Go ahead and get this going again because if not, then... Haven Home is going to be running out of water very quickly, and we definitely do not want that. Our water is actually flowing, so we're in good shape. Man, it is just, it's so exciting to have these golems here. I am, I'm just beyond excited, even though we only have seven, right? But it is ridiculous how much more efficient this whole area is. That's just cool. Love to see it. Yes, now we're still waiting on this to be fully taken care of here. All right now that's high enough. We'll get that back up to 2.5. And we'll make sure that this is all flowing steadily downstream. How are we looking with our explosives? And yes, these are looking quite fantastic. You know, I guess we could probably probably just be fine just setting this off but we should probably wait a little bit give them a little bit of a chance to get this stuff figured out just keep on filling that up and they still haven't done all this yet which you know is uh at this point it's understandable we have t we only have after all this we only have 10 vacant beds yeah man and it's uh that's just how it be sometimes. Now we have all of this up here. I'm thinking we should probably put in one of these uh, mud bath. We haven't done any of that. Rooftop terrace. I wonder if it'll let me build that on top of a uh, top of a platform. Yeah, why are these guys... You're all injured? Seriously? Okay. Man, how did... How did that happen? We'll just put on a bunch of medical beds then, right? Alright, you say you're all injured? Alright, go, uh, go get in a medical bed and stop it. Can I put... A rooftop terrace on top of these? Yes, I can. Okay. So I think what we're going to do... We'll do one of these numbers. Put in... A couple of rooftop terraces. Terrace I. I don't know what the plural of terrace would be. I just, I can't, I can't think of like where I would want to put this. I guess, I guess this whole area needs to be connected somehow. I'm, I'm, I'm just big brain thinking this whole thing. It's not, I probably don't need to be thinking this hard about it. We'll get it figured out eventually. They're still putting dynamite there. Okay, this is all flooded now. I should probably shut this. Let's not, uh, not completely kill all these trees. Yeah, somebody suggested that I put a spillway in here. I think we're going to have to do it. I think we're going to do it. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already lost which block it was. 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. We will get rid of this block. Yes, I know it's uh, it's doing that. We'll just pop this in. We'll just make sure that gets uh, taken care of ASAP. And it should never overflow again. Okay, can't get required materials. Well, I tell you, we can go ahead and detonate that for sure. That should no longer be a problem. Now, I was thinking and hoping they would... There's no beavers here, I swear. Man, that's annoying. Okay, do they, do they all die of hunger? I see no evidence of that, so we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. Uh, we no longer need to import water here. So that will be, man, that's so annoying. I even had all this, uh, all this space set up for him. We'll go ahead and what district is this? District 12. Come on. Okay. Import to district 12. We'll go ahead and send over 10. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and send over 10 because I think this will hold, this will hold nine. That one will hold. Should hold nine. Right, it's completely stupid. Yep, holds nine. Cool. No wonder nothing was getting done here. Man. How are we, uh... 25 vacancies. We don't have enough... Oh, we don't have enough adult beavers. We also don't have enough housing for all that, so I guess I guess we could build another uh, another little thing over here there we go and then we'll send over to district 12 we'll send another I can't send another 10 we'll send another 8 to bring it up to 18 so that'll be completely full that should help a little bit Except there's no food stored there, so I hope they uh, hope they run through their water quickly. All right, so we'll uh, we'll get these guys going in here. I guess we probably don't need don't need this builder's hut anymore because there's not really anything left to build. We're just trying to do some logging here. So they should be... Man, our frames per second are miserable over here. Seeing a, a low of 9, a low of 11. Averaging looks like the low 20s. Zoom out, it gets worse. Zoom in, it gets a little better. You go underground, it's still only 35. So that's a... It's kind of scary. This still isn't... Uh, Still isn't built, but they are slowly finishing that. All right. And we haven't, uh, can't get all the required materials. You make them here. Why is there water down here? Oh, man. Okay. So now this is all flooded. Hmm. I guess we just kind of have to wait for this water to evaporate. I can't really get it out of there. Which is annoying. All right, now our little spillway thing is finally done. All right, that works. Guess we don't really need. That. Okay, this is, they're still placing all these. Good. That'll be done soon. We can detonate all this and we can finally be done with this enormous explosive excavation project. Man, that's been a long one. Several, several episodes worth. That will be, 
very nice to finally have that finished. Meanwhile, uh, this can be put back up. This can be put back up to 2.5 like it's supposed to be. It seems like this district is doing well. We have beavers here. We have beavers there. This district doesn't have any food. Why are we not importing food? We're supposed to be importing food. And I haven't started making any food yet. You better be carrying food or you're fired. There we go. There's some food. All right. Let's get this path built through here. Then I think this will allow us to... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to put a... I have to put a gate here. How far away does this this one let me go? All right, I'm going to have to put the gate probably here. There we go. Cool. So now there is a complete path from here all the way over into... Man, this is lagging. We're here into Mayan Mountain. This is almost done. We are coming up to the end of the episode. Don't worry. We will continue... To get all of this uh, done here. I think. Yeah, we still have free beds. They will be uh, filling those, hopefully. Let's check in on... Okay, they're still, still waiting on materials. I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and prioritize this just because I want this to be done. So we can get on with our lives and end this episode without having to still worry about that. I love our autonomous forester is a thing of beauty blow this up very nice we'll go ahead and extend this out I think this will go yeah that'll go all the way out here we're gonna be just fine I think that should all be in reasonable distance of this. These aren't going to be grown until sometime in the middle or the end of next episode, so not really worried about it. Alright, how we... They still haven't finished this. Come on. You guys are all still hungry? Man. Okay, all this wheat here really is not working out. We're going to have to replace some of it with potatoes. Look at all these potatoes. Get these potatoes harvested. No workers. That's that's probably why I have these farmhouses are probably empty. Man, I really have not done a good job of keeping tabs on that, have I? We're just going to have to always make sure these farmhouses are populated. That's going to go poorly. Otherwise, set to harvest, set to harvest, set to harvest. Set to harvest, set to harvest. Uh, I guess one of these can be set to plant, huh? All right. Seriously, still? Well, I guess they're uh, they're going at their own speed, which is not specifically disallowed. Come on, I want to end the episode with this. These people have things to do. I've got things to do. Let's hurry up. We'll let them have a moment to work on that. I should probably be... I guess I can't really know who or when they're going to go across all this stuff, but that's, uh, that's fine, I guess. Let's make sure this is all set to cut trees. It looks like most of the area that matters is taken care of, so that's good. We're just going here. I guess I could probably shut these off. So we do have a ton of knowledge stored up. I don't think we're really going to have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, those two are already paused. This district has been very quietly just kind of running itself this whole time. Kind of. 
By running itself, I mean the workers haven't been tending the crops, apparently. Got five empty beds. I think they need some more... Need some more beavers. We could always just add some more beaver houses over here somewhere. And I haven't done anything with this again. Probably should, honestly. Or maybe we'll just go ahead and put a couple of uh, additional lodges up here. I just built the same exact building again. Uh, okay. Let's put this here. Did I not click it again? Here we go. There we go. We'll put that here. What do you mean it's not? Oh, wow. Seriously, I don't have these. Wow, that was... That was astounding that I had not... Not taken care of that at this point. Well, this will... Help a little bit. Won't be anything super huge. We'll go ahead and put a staircase there. So I can get up to the top. And then uh, we'll probably do something else with that later. But I did want to make sure they had enough empty beds to fill them. Alright, is this... Uh, it's already blown up. How are we looking over here? Finally. Alright. I'm going to slow the game down. Then we're going to detonate all of these. I don't want the game to crash. <laughs> so that's why... Uh... That was substantially louder than the game normally is. Alright, that is finally done. Which means, of course, that our time sending beavers down here has come to an end. Unless I actually need this space to do something, so we'll just leave that there. But we have to put in now all of these, and then we will fill them with water pumps. And we'll leave this right here. I doubt that we build another level below this, because theoretically it shouldn't ever get that low. But that'll be a fun uh, problem for them to take care of in the next episode. Let's go ahead and lower this back down. And make sure everything is a-okay. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode. A little longer than I wanted, but I think we've gotten a lot of great stuff accomplished. Our golems are finally working. And once again, in my infinite wisdom, I have failed to set the cut tree area. Which is fine, because, you know, none of these trees are ready to be cut. But now that's taken care of. Like I was saying, we have our golem production is steadily going. And these guys, I guess they have a lot longer durability than I thought. I figured they would have to be recharged or scrapped and rebuilt after a much shorter period of time. But we're doing well. We have 10 total golems. One guy working here, nine guys working here. And we're just going to keep on building them. And we're going to try and automate as many of these jobs as we can. I think that's going to be our end game goal. Because uh, we, have, we haven't we have built the Tribute to Ingenuity Monument. We will build that somewhere over here. But I might, I think I'm going to want to put it somewhere like right in the middle of this whole area so all these beavers get continuous inspiration. We might even build a neat little tower for it. But we'll get to that. Uh, we're going to do some more decoration stuff. Uh, these well-built, well-building, well-being buildings. We haven't done anything with mud baths or carousels or temples or anything. We'll get to that. We'll mess with Catalyst. Uh, we've done gravity batteries. We probably could build a few more of those. Uh, we've built all these, built all these, built all these. We haven't messed with irrigation towers, stream gauges, or mechanical water pumps. I just haven't really been super worried about messing with that, so I think that's fine. We messed with those. We did those. We built everything storage-wise. We'd probably need to build more. Uh, we haven't messed with excavation or terraforming. That'll be one of the future episodes. And we really haven't done very much with suspension bridges, and I think that's a really cool thing we can get into 
maybe build a bridge across our little uh, a little reservoir here because the, the six by one can get you up to 12 blocks, which is which is cool. But other than that, I think we've pretty much done most of the stuff the game lets you do in the Folktales playthrough. And we're going to probably wrap this playthrough up around episode 20. Try to make episode 20 the uh, finale for this one. And then we'll move on into a Naren Teeth playthrough. Go ahead and get that all uh, fixed up like it's supposed to be. But yeah, this is looking really nice. Let's go ahead and turn off the HUD so we can appreciate. Just look at look how developed this is now. We have this entire area used to be completely dead, just all desert. And we've irrigated it. We're growing a bunch of trees. We have some crops. We have more trees over here, and we're going to have more farming. We're going to need, we're going to need more farming. So we might even convert some of this wheat into potatoes because those just seem to grow so much better. But that's going to be a problem for the next episode, of course. And we have these other areas we haven't done too much with. We'll need to expand this one a little more and get some more housing in here. Maybe build some of that over here. Build some sort of other structure in this general area. We'll get to that. Then we have all of these potatoes, the land of potatoes over here. And we haven't even messed with any of this. And we haven't gone exploring for any other metal because our underground metal mine is pretty much infinite at this point. Scrap metal or science points. And we... Uh, we just keep doing scrap metal because I know we're going to end, end up using it. But there's other places we can go look for uh, metal if we felt like it. I, I really, at this point, I don't think we need to worry about it. I would like to flood this. I guess we could maybe mess with the mechanical water pumps and see if that's something that would work for filling this whole area up. I mean, this part of the map we're, we're never going to get to in the first place. But I think we've got a lot to be a lot to be happy with here. I wish I could zoom out a little bit more to show you guys the... Uh, the full thing all at once, but this is really, really starting to be pretty impressive, uh, pretty impressive build. And I think we can be pretty proud of it. I know I am. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this series so far. Uh, feel free to always leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any constructive tips or uh, valid criticisms to offer my way and ways I can try to improve stuff, please let me know. I'm always open to it. I read every comment. I respond when I can. And I just like talking to you guys about the games and whatever else is on your mind. So uh, yeah, that's going to end it for this episode. Don't forget, I do have a Twitch I stream at sometimes. I try to do a little more regularly, but life gets in the way a little bit. Over at uh, twitch.tv slash jcthebeard, I try to do once a week at least. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but we have a good time over there when we do stream. It's usually more chill stuff. No city builders. Sometimes, I'm, I mean, I might stream like a city skylines or something every once in a while, but it's mostly... Just uh, like kind of RPGs or fun, silly games. Sometimes I'll do puzzle streams and we'll just hang out and have a good time and relax. So I'd love to have you over there. And of course, if you're just here on YouTube, that's perfectly fine as well. I'm glad to have you here. And I hope you are having a fantastic rest of your day. And if not, I hope it gets better for you. We'll see you back in the next episode. And until then, have fun. Bye-bye.